handheld device that can take a photograph of printed material and read it to you on the spot. Um, what that means is that for someone who has difficulty with text, that could be someone with macular degeneration or diabetic retinopathy, uh, they can have an easier time reading now. Um, the device was designed to help people who have limited vision and also people who have specific learning disabilities, dyslexia being the most common. For folks with limited vision, we've done a number of things. For example, we can increase the menu size. size. Large text size. So we can make that larger. Uh, that gives people with a low visual acuity a better chance of reading it, but then also you can hear it's being read out as I move through. Items. Library. And I'll turn it up. We're in a pretty loud space here at CES. Um, a little later, I'll let you try on the headphones and you can listen to it, how, which is often the way that people would listen to it, so you can hear it internally. Um, the device has been designed uh, to have big buttons, easy to use, easy to find, easy to navigate. Um, inside uh, the library, you'll find the documents that you have put library in there. Library, menu, category, text. Uh, they can be text or audio. audio. Audio would be an MP3 or an audio file that you've loaded onto the device. Text. Um, Texts. What is the history of no? Now this techniques. This allows people to have both visual and audio simultaneously. Um, this was originally taken from a photograph using the camera on the bottom edge. This was the picture that we took, and I can magnify that as well so you can blow it up. And once you've blown it up, you can navigate around it. You can also be reading it Techniques also make it while you're navigating it. That's particularly useful if you might have a, uh, an illustration or something that you wanted to take a look at while you're actually listening to it as well. Um, we've gotten a lot of feedback from people about how useful this is for um, what I call uh, the, the, the reading you really need to do, like what's on the menu at the restaurant, or what are the rules to this board game, or what, what did I just get in the mail today? Things that you would never find on, um, you know, electronically on a website or other things like that, but are very important to our daily lives and the tasks of daily living. Now, um, I'll pull out a book and we can actually do a little reading in, in real time if you want. Um, so I hold it like so, uh, framing up the book, um, and go ahead and take a picture. So I'll, it instructs me, press you to capture an image if I want. So it just fired, it used a strobe because the lighting conditions in here are uneven and it wants to level that out. Um, I can now go and turn into another page. Now, when I do this, um, many people will ask, well, how could a blind person do this? Um, I'll show you the technique that blind people typically use. Um, they will take the book, they'll lay it down, they center it in the book initially, feel the edges of the book, and then pick it directly up. And you find right there, I've centered it just by picking it up in that direction. You can vary speed with the device. Voice speed menu, 120 words per minute. So that could Selected. be a little fast for some people, so we can slow it down. Words per minute, 100 words per minute. Or we can go much faster. Um, faster speeds are speeds that people who get very comfortable with the device will use it. So blind folks who have been reading this way for years will accelerate the speed. Um, the menus and everything can be changed around. Uh, so here in settings, we can change uh, the display, for example. We could, for example, change the color. Uh, some people might like having a bright yellow background and a, with black text because that's higher contrast, um, and so that's a good ca capability for someone to be able to change it. Um, that's one of the reasons why this reader is so different than other readers that are out there. Other readers that are out there are designed to make reading really convenient and easy for someone who already finds it convenient and easy. This reader is designed to help people who have difficulty with text to get access to it in the first place, and so it's a very different approach than what most people are doing.